An unexpected decision from the Supreme Court about laws and regulations surrounding the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program. Our Mike Jimenez joins us live with local reaction as the High Court rules DACA is okay to stay. Mike? Uh, good evening, uh, Brenda. Now here in the Rio Grande Valley, there are uh, more than 10,000 DACA recipients and members from La Union del Pueblo Entero say this ruling could pave the way for thousands more. Now, DACA was first introduced in 2012 and allows for children brought to the U.S. illegally to receive deferred action from deportation and become eligible for a work visa. The Trump administration tried to do away with it, but the case ended up at the Supreme Court. So this case was about process. Everyone on both sides, both the plaintiff side and the defense side, which was government, all agree that the government or the Trump administration has the ability to end DACA. What was a question was how Trump ended DACA. Gonzalez says in a nutshell, the court ruled five to four that the Trump administration did not end DACA the right way. And beneficiaries of DACA would have been adversely affected if it had been ended. He also adds if someone is going to be hurt that way, the government must ask for feedback. Gonzalez says the Trump administration can immediately begin the process to end DACA the right way. And the fight is far from over. Immediately after the ruling was issued, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxson issued a statement where he said he was disappointed by the decision and added that the state has a case pending where it is currently challenging the constitutionality of DACA. Reporting live here in McAllen for KBO Local 23 News. All right, Mike, thank you. We'll have much more reaction on this story tonight on Local 23 News at 10 and as always on valleycentral.com.